I I don't know why I did that. I just thought it would suit the vibe for us ranking FNAF characters. (sighs) I don't know why I did that. But yeah, we are going to be making a tier list for some FNAF characters. (sighs) Yeah, I got most of the ones that I knew of. And if I forgot some, please let me know in the comments. And I guess I'll rate them. (sighs) <sighs> okay, so we have S tier, A tier, B tier, B tier, C tier, D tier. I'm just ranking, I guess I'm just ranking them for who they are and uh, what they're like, and yeah, I don't know. <sighs> First off, we got Freddy, and I'm also going in game order as well. So, Freddy, in the first game, is very, is very annoying because you cannot let him leave the stage. If you do, then you have to check the camera that check the camera that he's in all the time. Or else he will escape, get right outside your door, and once he's outside of your door, you are screwed. So, Freddy, um, just for those, I'm putting you on A tier. Yeah. Bonnie visits the door all the time. Like, I'm literally just monitoring what Foxy's doing or something, and Bonnie's at my door. Like, come on. But I do like Bonnie, so I'm putting him in S tier. Bonnie's one of my favorites. Now, Chica, on the other hand, is just kind of eh. She's very annoying, because, yeah. She. Yeah, she. I don't I don't know what I'm saying. She's just annoying. <laughs> Foxy, I like Foxy because he's really cool and he's literally a fan favorite. So he goes up in S tier. Wow, so far Bonnie and Bonnie and Foxy are in the best tier. <sighs> Golden Freddy. Very rare to see Golden Freddy, but when you do see him you get a jump scare. I've got I've seen him twice throughout the entire both t- all the times I've played Five Nights at Freddy's. <sighs> the first time I just let him kill me because I just wanted to see what it was like. And the other time I just like completely caught him off guard and he was just there. Now Golden Freddy, I think he's very cool because yeah, his story is one of the m- more interesting ones. Um, I'm putting Golden Freddy in S tier. Toy Freddy is just kind of... Eh, I never see him, really, so... That kind of... Yeah. And when I do see him, he's very annoying because he sneaks up on... He gets in my office a whole bunch. I'm just switching over to an F2, by the way. So I'm putting Toy Freddy in B tier because I just don't like him. <laughs> Same with Toy Bonnie. Well, I'd say Toy Bonnie is better than Toy Chica, so... Um, Toy Bonnie goes up here. He's not as good as the original Bonnie, but yeah. Toy Chica C tier. I don't like you. You're very annoying. <sighs> Mangle. Definitely one of the more easier animatronics to avoid and not get killed by because you can hear her wherever she is because of her sounds. But her sounds are annoying, so she goes in B tier. Now, Balloon Boy. Straight to D tier, man. I hate Balloon Boy so much. Puppet, I think, is very interesting. So, but yeah, I'm putting him in A tier. Withered Freddy is probably one of the creepiest ones. Um, I don't know why I think that, but yeah. Um, but I like Withered Freddy, so he's going in A tier. Withered Bonnie is pretty cool. Um,. I do feel bad for him that he only has one arm and no face. So I like I like him. Wither Wither Chica is has got to be the creepiest animatronic in the entire series. I I know I said Withered Freddy was one of them. She is the top. Like, what is this? What is this character? She is terrifying. And for that reason, I'm putting her in S tier because I hate her. 
Withered Foxy is annoying with the fact that he doesn't fall for the mask and you gotta flash a flashlight. And I sometimes I do it too much and I run my flashlight down. So even though I like Foxy, the original one's just better. I like I like all Foxies, but Withered Foxy is just yeah. Golden Freddy Withered Golden Freddy is annoying in the second game because he just pops up whenever he wants. He thinks that yeah and then I I my brain doesn't process it I flash light getting rid of Foxy and then I jump scared and killed Shadow Freddy is really rare so seeing him is always good Shadow Bonnie other hand, on the other hand he doesn't wait don't they crash your game I've never had them crash my game so you know what I'm gonna move these guys down to 8 here Spring trap, definitely very freaking annoying. If you watch my FNAF 3 video I did not that long ago, I said that FNAF 3 is one of the more harder ones for me, and I don't like spring trap. But I will admit he's cool, so he goes in A tier. Phantom Freddy is annoying because I can't even look out the window when this guy's here. Oh, Wither Chica is just one of the forgettable phantoms so I'm putting her in C tier well both all the both the animatronics in C tier are both chicas phantom foxy he is a foxy so he gets up high I like all foxies phantom mangle is just even noisier than before so yeah phantom BB is even worse if there was an F tier I would for sure put him in that Phantom Puppet. I hate it when she gets in my freaking face. Because then Springtrap gets right by my door and then kills me. Alright, switching to a FNAF 4. I never see I never see Nightmare Freddy to be honest. I always keep the Freddles calm, so He does have a good design though. Nightmare Bonnie is just pure annoying because he just he just goes up the dirt and sometimes he breathes. But sometimes you're just like, oh no, I don't want to breathe. I want to quiet breathe so you won't hear me. And then you'll open the, you'll shine the flashlight at me, and then I'll kill you. Um, um, Nightmare Bonnie's going in B tier. Nightmare Chica is freaking creepy. So she goes in A tier. I like Nightmare Foxy. Nightmare Foxy is epic, but he is scary. Don't get me wrong. Nightmare Fredbear is very freaking terrifying in Night 5 of FNAF 4. So, he gets... I'm putting him in A tier. Nightmare is just annoying. He just kills you whenever he wants. Mm, B tier for Nightmare. He, he really is just basically Fredbear, just retextured. Plus Trap is kind of annoying so I'm putting him in B tier same with Nightmare BB but you know what BB sucks I hate BB I hate Balloon Boy now I've never actually played the Halloween update for FNAF 4 so I have never experienced this guy but he does look cool so I'm putting him up there <sighs> Nightmare Chica same with you Nightmare Mangle and Nightmare, Nightmare Mangle makes it almost impossible to play FNAF 4. Because she makes so many so much noise. And I can't hear, like, Bonnie breathing or Chica breathing. So, you get demoted down to there. Because, yeah. The most terrifying thing in the entire series is this... Is this monstrosity. This abomination that we have to get rid of and stop. You are freaking terrifying. But I will admit... Ugh, I guess terrifying is what they're going for. So. But I'm just going to say, that thing is terrifying and it gives me nightmares. Circus Baby. Okay, we're on FNAF. Search the location. <sighs> she... She's just average, I guess. I mean, she is the main character of Search the Location. And Lily, Michael's sister. I guess Circus Baby's okay. I like Funtime Freddy. He goes up here. Funtime Freddy and Bon Bon. F bon Bon is just basically the same as Funtime Freddy, so he goes up there too. 
But Laura is kind of annoying because she, um, in that in the level where you have to get through the fun time, whatever it's called, she can be kind of annoying and just kill you randomly. So I don't like her. Mini arenas hate them, hate them, hate them, hate them, hate them. I hate night four of just a location. I like Funtime Foxy, so I'm putting him in eight here. Entered. Uh, where do I even where do I even begin with this guy? Okay. Uh, basically, it all started with a private room. I that was this was about like a year ago. I beat that gush for second level. I hate the private room. It took me around a month to beat that. And because Ennard is such a freaking... But I will admit, Ennard's design is really cool. But I don't like what he is like in the private room. But... Huh, a tier, I guess. Baby Babs. Is, I don't know. I just never haven't had much experience with them. Bonnet. I mean... I guess she's cool. Yendo. Just... I hate him. He's just so ugly. I hate him. Um, a little bit. Personally, she's kind of annoying because her stupid the commercial thing that comes on when she's yeah. I'm just putting her down here. Fun time, Freddy. Oh, not fun time. Why did I say fun time, Freddy? Rockstar, Freddy. Please deposit five coins. Please deposit five coins. Please deposit. Please deposit. Please deposit. That gets annoying if if it keeps playing until you die. Like, he'll say it like, I don't know. I guess I'll have to... I'm gonna, just gonna have to count the next time I play that game. <sighs> so, I'm putting you in B tier, man. You're annoying because I don't like searching the cameras to find your stinking guitar. So, yeah. Chica, with it... Um, no, why, did I say, why am I saying the completely wrong things from what they are? Rockstar Chica is C tier. I like I like fo I like this foxy. This is the actual this is a foxy that actually will give you a chance and not kill you. But he will kill you. But it's just not all the time. I don't like these medio mediocre guys like I'm just going to put them all You know what? I'm just going to put them all in here cuz I don't like them. And but this guy on their hand, I hate him. His, if you die by him, he has tells such a freaking long, stupid story that I don't want to hear. So, frick you. And this guy just plays loud ads. So, yeah, frick you. Um, what's this guy's name again? Helpy? Helpy's cute, so I'm putting him up there. Music Man is just terrifying, so I'm putting him down here. Funtime Chica is annoying. Cause he just pops up. And just, yeah. Gets all up in my face, and I can't see a thing when I'm trying to, like, you know, like, check on Toy Freddy and with his game. Like, I don't even, like, what even, what? Scrap Baby is, honest, I like her design. She's pretty cool. Same with Molten Freddy. Actually, no, he gets S, he gets S tier because, um, the person who voices him is just amazing. <sighs> um, he's basic. He's basically Springtrap, so I'm gonna put him in that. Lefty is pretty cool. He it li he's literally the puppet. All right, we're on security breach now. I haven't played this game yet, so I'm just gonna be basing them on their looks and stuff. And Glenlock Freddy is cool because he's it's literally the first Freddy that's not gonna kill us. So. This chica is kind of annoying, so I'm putting her down here. Mm, probably up there, yeah. Because I have all the glam rock animatronics. Um, her, oh, um, her and um, Montgomery Gator are probably my favorites. Um, freaking Montgomery Gator, he's right here. Sundrop is my, in my opinion, he's kind of creepy. Because, yeah, I hate the fact that he's always smiling at me. And if I ever play this game, I'm going to get jump scared when he picks me up. 
So, I'm putting him in B tier. And Moon... Moon drop is just terrifying, so... You're going down here, man. I don't know. What even is this? I just was searching up. FNAF... I'm not... FNAF... Security Breach characters, and that popped up. I need to play that game so I can figure out who that person is. Um, Vanny. She's interesting. The Blob. I don't, I don't even know what this thing is, so I'm putting it down here. And I, I still don't understand how did Scrap Trap right here become that? Like, what? I, that's still confusing to me. I'm putting you in B tier. Alright, guys. We finished the Five Nights at Freddy's tier list. Now, um... Let me know if you guys want me to do this again for, like, different things, like actually rating the FNAF games. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know. But anyways, yeah. That's going to be it. Make sure to like and subscribe and turn on those notifications. And, yeah. See you next time. Goodbye.